What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Stardew Valley and I'm going to be showing you how to obtain all of the special rare crows in Stardew Valley. These are special scarecrows that you can obtain in the game, these are collectibles. There is a number of 8 in total with a very special deluxe scarecrow that you can get after collecting all of the original 8. So I'm going to go through all of them, I'll show you all of the locations, how much they cost, where to find them, because if you do like collecting things, collecting the scarecrows in this game is very fun, and if you're new to this game it can be quite difficult to understand where to find them all. So let's start off with the first one. You can find your first rare crow in the first season of Stardew Valley on the 24th of spring at the Flower Dance Festival. So right away, starting a new game, if you save up enough money, you can buy your first one here at the Flower Dance shop. It will cost 2,500 gold though, so you probably aren't going to afford the first rare crow, so you might have to wait the next year to get it. But if you do have some spare money and you want to collect all of these, then make sure you save up 2,500 before the 24th of spring to buy the first rare crow. You can find another rare crow at the Travelling Merchant Lady who comes every Friday and Sunday of every season. But to find this rare crow you can only find it in the fall and winter season and there's a chance to find this rare crow which the travel lady sells for 4,000 gold. This one looks like a snowman but like I said you can only get that in fall or winter through the travel lady. You can also get two more in this season in fall and they are both obtainable at the festivals. The first festival is the Stardew Valley Fair. You will be able to find a rare crow in the shop here. You'll have to trade in your star tokens for prizes and you're going to need 800 to get the rare crow. You're also going to need 2000 to get a star drop. But let's focus on the rare crow. So we need 800 tokens. Very simple to get. You can either play the mini games such as the fishing or the betting, the target shooter. You'll easily get yourself 800 tokens. Or if you've got a lot of money lying around, you can just buy them. 800 tokens will cost 40,000. But setting up your store and putting nine items on there of high quality and various different categories you will get yourself a total of a thousand just by winning that so if you win your Grange display you can easily buy the rare crow straight away without having to play the mini games And the other rare crow is at the Spirit Eve Festival on the 27th of full. You will also be able to find this in the shop which Pierre sells and this one's going to cost you 5,000 gold. You don't need tokens for this one, just make sure you've got some money saved up before this uh, festival starts. And that will be your fourth rare crow. Halfway, four more to go. You will be able to find another one from the dwarf in the mines. You're going to need to upgrade your pickaxe in order to break this rock to get access to the dwarf. And once you get there, you can speak to him. But before you can speak to him and understand what he says, you need to find the four dwarf scrolls which you can find in the mines by either breaking the crates or killing enemies. Once you have all four, just donate them to the museum to Gunther and then you will be able to understand him. You'll be able to purchase this for 2,500 gold, very cheap and easy to obtain as long as you have donated the four dwarf scrolls and upgraded your pickaxe to the steel version, you'll be able to get yourself that rare crow, pretty simple. Speaking of museum, you can actually get two more from Gunther once donating some artifacts and minerals. So once donating 20 artifacts, you will get a reward and one of them being the rare crow. And you'll be able to get another one by doing the same thing but with the minerals. But you need to donate 40 of them in order to get this one. You will be able to find another rare crow up in the desert. So you need to unlock the bus in order to do that by either completing the community center bundles or buying them at the Jojo membership. When you come to Sandy's shop, there will be a bouncer guarding an entrance to a back room. This is the casino. Once you've completed the mysterious QI's quest, you will get given a club card. If you give this to the bouncer, he will move and you will gain access to the casino. Once you're in the casino, if you play some of the mini games and save up 10,000 casino points, that is how much it's gonna cost to get the rare crow from this store, 10,000 casino points. 
So that is all eight of the original rare crows. Now you need to place these down on your farm somewhere, anywhere on your farm in order to get the final deluxe version which will be sent to you through the post but only when all of these rare crows are down on your farm. Mine may look a little bit different to yours because I'm using visual mods so it changes the looks of them but you get a general idea, they kind of look the same, the colours have mainly changed. But once you've placed them down, go to sleep, you should get a letter the next day with your new deluxe rare crow which is a new addition to the 1.4 update. You can only obtain it by getting the first eight. Now all of the eight original rare crows work the exact same way as the normal scarecrow. They have the same radius and they will they will protect your crops from crows the exact same way. The only difference is they do look a little bit different. Apart from the alien one. With the alien scarecrow here, you can actually place hats on top of this one. I mean, why not make your alien look like a baby? It is the only scarecrow or rare crow that you can place hats onto, which is kind of cool. And here we go, this is what the letter will say, you will get a crafting recipe for the Deluxe Scarecrow once you've completed your Rare Crow collection. So you can craft the normal Scarecrows and you will get a new Deluxe Scarecrow. This looks a lot different to what yours would look like because this has completely changed in my game. But you're going to need 50 wood, 1 Iridium Ore and 40 Fibre. Very expensive with using the Iridium Ore, but the best thing about the Deluxe Scarecrow is this is a larger radius compared to any of the other Scarecrows or Rare Crows. This will give you a 16 tile radius compared to the 8 on the other ones. So this will cover a huge amount of crops to protect them from the crows. So there we have it guys, that is how you get all of the rare crows in the game. That's how you can collect them all and obtain them. Some of them are a bit challenging and you probably get towards the end game after you played for a while because they are going to cost quite a bit of money. And of course some of them you can only obtain by doing certain end game quests. But they are very fun to find and collect. I always try and collect these as I'm playing through my Stardew Valley uh, save files. It's just a good feeling collecting them all and especially getting the deluxe one which is going to be awesome to uh, use on your farm. Hopefully you found this video informative and it's helped you out if you are struggling with how to find the Scarecrows. I know the game's been out a while and many of you probably already know where to find them. But I just wanted to do a little video because I did see a few comments of people asking where to find them all. So hopefully it helped. If you did, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new for more Stardew Valley content. If you want to see me cover other things in the game such as star drops or prismatic shards or dinosaur eggs or ancient seeds. If you want to know where to find them or the best way to find them at a fast rate, please let me know in the comments below and I can make some videos on that as well. But I'm going to end that one there. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you stay safe and I'll catch you on the next Stardew Valley video. Bye-bye.